Okay, so the earlier lesson that we did while we were live had a problem with our audio. So we're rerunning the lesson proper itself. I think I noticed that the audio was off when we were already doing the craft. So while Ember is still busy doing her craft, doing her drum, she's still decorating her drum. We'll have, <laughs> yeah, she's actually redecorating my drum. She doesn't like how I did it, but nonetheless, we will have a rerun of the lesson so that everyone who tuned in earlier will understand the lesson before we head it into the craft. Okay. So first off, we always start with our memory verse, which is Ephesians 5, verse 19. Speaking to one another with psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, sing and make music from your heart to the Lord. Right, so to help us remember this memory verse, to help us memorize it or to help us recite it, we came up with a little action for it. Do you want to do the action with me? Mm. Why? Okay. So the action goes like this. Oops. Okay. Sorry for that. It's Ember's drum. So she... Re okay, before we continue, she wants to show this is the drum that she redecorated. She made my drum into a puppy. Okay, very good. Yeah, okay. Now, can you help me with the action? Come here. Because look at that. No, it already yeah. looks like a puppy. Can you help me with the action? Okay. Speaking to one another with psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, sing and make music from your heart to the Lord. Okay, let's do that again, okay? Thank you, baby, for helping me, okay? You can play with your drums now, okay? Now, I'll do that action again for you so that you'll be able to recall it. We did it like this. We say, speaking to one another with psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, sing and make music from your heart to the Lord. All right, I hope you got that action. You can go back to this, rewind it, replay it, redo the action so that it will help you re remember this memory verse. All right, so it's important to... To remember this memory verse because this is the reason why we learn about music. We learn about music because it is our tool for worship and praising the Lord. So this is our little exercise once again. Okay. Based from our previous lessons, we learned how to count these notes. So... Uh, I'll just show you how we counted them. Okay. So this kind of note, we call it the quarter note. We hold that for one count. And then this is the half note. We hold it for two counts. Okay. So it goes like this. We say one for quarter note. Okay. And then for the half note, we say one, two. Okay. Now, to make this entire pattern, let's just recall. We have learned this, and then we'll just have a little bit of exercise so that we'll not forget. We count it as one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, wait. We missed one note there. Okay, that's it. So this is our pattern, our rhythmic pattern there, okay? For this one, we count one, two, three, four. And for this part, we count it as one, two, three, four, okay? And then we do it all over again on that part. So clapping on the whole, we say one, two, three, four. One, two, 
three, four. Okay. So there you have it. That's our uh, rhythmic pattern. Earlier during the live session, when we were having our live class, we tried it with the maracas that we created in our previous lesson. And then, since you have already did the drum part, the making of the drums, so you can also use this exercise for the drum. You can go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There we go, and then as we make those patterns, it's an arrangement of musical sounds. We call the arrangement of musical sounds rhythm. So rhythm gives the beat or the heartbeat of the music. So it tells us how fast or how slow the music is going. This is, the rhythm is the one that we listen to when we dance to the music. We dance to the beat of the music. So rhythm, again, is a systematic arrangement of musical sounds. And there are instruments that are responsible, responsible for making the rhythm part of the music. And those are called the percussion instruments. So what are percussion instruments? Percussion instrument is a musical instrument that is sounded by being struck, scraped by a beater, including attached or enclosed beaters, beaters or rattles, struck, scraped, or rubbed by hand, or struck against another similar instrument. So whenever we hit a musical instrument, we scrape a musical instrument, such as this maraca also. I know it doesn't look like we're, we're scraping it or striking it, but in reality, we make the particles inside. In our case, we use rice. We make them hit the wall of the instrument. So it's also striking it. And it's also a rattle as it's described there in our definition. Those are percussion instruments. So percussion instruments are believed to be the oldest form of musical instrument. Now here are typical examples of percussion instruments. So the first one we have here is what we call the drum. This is the most famous percussion instrument. Most of you know it. And then this in particular here in our slide is called, or over here, nope, it's over here. Yep, over there, yeah. So that one over there is called the snare drum. So you make it, you make a sound by banging it with a drumstick. And how does the drum sound? It says boom, 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 boom. All right. Then we move on to the next instrument, which is this. Most of you know it already because it was our project earlier. It's called the maracas, okay? And you sound it by shaking it. And here's our next instrument. I hope you let your kids guess it as we go along. Try to... Let them see if they can recall this instrument from their memory. So this next instrument is called the tambourine. So how does the tambourine sound like? Baby, how does the tambourine sound like? Okay. I don't think it's like that. Okay. So that's how the tambourine sounds like. And then you sound it by shaking it and then also tapping it on your hand. We have a tambourine, but I can't uh, find it right now. And this next instrument 
over there again, nope, over here again, all right, is called the cymbals. Cymbals are brass instruments that you hit with each other. You hold one of each on both of your hands, one each, and then you clap using the cymbals. It goes psh, psh. And some other cymbals are placed on a stand and then you hit it with a drumstick. So those are typical examples of percussion instruments. And this one next right here is what we call, let's give some time for the kids to answer. Can you guess this one? It's called a xylophone. All right. So what is a xylophone? A xylophone is a musical instrument where you play it by using the beater. This is called beaters, all right? This one there. That uh, stick with the hard ball at the end. So how do you play the xylophone? You just hit these metal pieces. You hit those metal pieces and it makes a sound. Now, if you can see, if you notice, some of the metal pieces are long and some are short. This is so that the xylophone makes different kinds of sound. It's like a bell. Ding! But then, this one here produces a higher pitch sound. Ding! And then this one here produces a lower pitch sound. Ding! Oh, no. Ding! Like that, all right? So, that's a xylophone. Remember, how do you make a xylophone sound? Xylophone. Ring, ring. <laughs> Sorry. So, sometimes you just run across the beater and then it makes ring, ring sound, all right? Okay, so, the xylophone is usually placed on a table. And this next instrument here, Do you know what this instrument is? Most people mistake this also for a xylophone, but this is a bell lyre. So same, similarly, there's the beater there. You hit it also with the beater. But the bell lyre is used mostly by a marching band. You hold it, and then you there's a stick that is placed on your body or around a belt, and then you hit it like this. You carry the bell lyre, okay? That's how you play the bell lyre. Similarly, the sound that it produces is like that, that of the sound of the xylophone. Now, what is this instrument? Can you guess this instrument? You have it now? All right. So, this is called a triangle the instrument that is named after its shape or some people call it triangular bell or or bell triangle but we can simply call it triangle it's also a bell sounding instrument wherein you hit this triangular shape piece with the metal beater what does this the triangle sound baby all right, so the triangle sounds ding like that. So there you have it. There's the percussion instrument family. And one of the percussion instrument family, again, as we discussed, is the drum. So if you were able to join us during the live session, you were able to do the drum craft already. But if you haven't did it yet and you were, you were able to watch this lesson first, you can go to the link. I will provide the link of the craft down there, all right, in the description section. We will put it there. And then you can follow what we did during the live session. Again, once again, I am very uh, sorry for those who tuned in earlier. 
we didn't notice that we didn't have an audio during the live, so thank you for rerunning this video again and understanding the lesson. And I hope next time we will be able to do a better job for you guys. You deserve a better job. So it's on us, and thank you. I hope you were able to catch up with the lesson. And this sums up, okay, for those who were with us from the beginning of our lessons, I mean from the less first lesson up to this fourth lesson, this sums up our first quarter. And you can give a quarterly exam now. If you are giving a quarterly exam, if you are required to submit some grades, you can give a quarterly exam now. Base the questions on some of from our discussions here, like the different kind of percussion instrument, and I have already provided questions from the previous previous lesson. So that ends our first quarter, and we will be moving on with the second quarter for our music and our arts integrated. And I hope we were able to help your homeschooling family. Thank you for joining us again. If you're not yet subscribed, please like, please subscribe, please share so that uh, it will also encourage us to do even more and to do even better. Thank you so much. Thank you for the support. God bless you all.